Hi guys, it's uh, Nick from Nick Chitty Hearing Care. This is an interesting chap. Couldn't hear very well, so he decided to buy himself one of these hoopy candles. Decided it'd be good fun to lay on the side of his bathroom floor, set light to the side of his head. And then uh, after he'd finished the procedure, found that his hearing was even worse. So he came very, very quickly to see me the next morning. And a quick look down inside his ear revealed that there was a, a rather large mass of wax in there. I did a very quick hearing test just to check that this was a mechanical loss and that he'd not actually pushed the hoopy candle down too far into his ear and actually perforated or damaged his ear. And it uh, was fairly obvious that it was what we call a conductive hearing loss. So there's nerve center, the hearing nerve was fine. So we're just slowly removing this with a good old favorite Jobson Horm instrument. Very lucky actually, I think if he'd have pushed this, looking at this wax that's right down deep down in there that's very hard, I think if he'd have pushed that down about another quarter of an inch, I think he could have been in quite serious trouble. And this is going to take me some time to remove this very, very carefully. Um, his ear's a little bit sore. Um, didn't want to uh, syringe his ears because I wasn't convinced that he didn't have any damage behind the wax. I thought it was better just to remove the wax first and let's have a little look. But this is all slowly coming out nice and slowly now. This has uh, taken some time. I've actually condensed this just a little bit. Actually about halfway through what I'll normally do is I'll actually just stop and put my arms down to my side so I get a little bit of fresh blood into my arms because uh, when you've got your arms up holding an instrument for a while it's very easy to, the blood sort of flow doesn't go as well into your arms and you begin to start getting the shakes. So what I normally do is just stop for a little while, just for 30 seconds, relax, compose myself and then carry on with the procedure. But as you can see, this is coming out quite nicely now. But there is a fair bit of wax here. He was a very lucky boy not to uh, permanently damage his hearing. Just finally getting this last little bit because I know if I don't get it all out you'll all be posting comments I've left a little bit behind but as I've said in the past always like to leave a little bit of wax in there it is mother nature's form of protection for the ear canal and you'll see uh, very shortly it's a fairly impressive collection of wax we've got there because I know my viewers like to see what it is we've actually removed from the patient's ear and there it all is there so I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon guys. Take care.